What's up, y'all? I'm trying to be quiet because it's my family's over and they're sleeping. Uh, it is 7 a.m. And I don't know if y'all would remember this or not from when we did our video for our road trip to Alabama. Uh, but I get like really car sick. And, um, my grandma just dropped me off back to my house to finish packing from her house. So I've been in the car for like an hour and I already wasn't feeling all that great from yesterday. I don't know. I don't know why I wasn't feeling very good yesterday, but um, I wasn't feeling great yesterday. And the drive in the car it just kind of has me feeling like even crappier so um i'm about to take some more anti-nausea medicine and an ibuprofen and probably crash till like eight o'clock and then i'll get back up and we'll do a walkthrough of the house um it's there's not really anything left in here so this it's mainly just like little hot like trash and stuff that I gotta clean up. That's everything that was in the pantry. Like all of the furniture and everything is gone. It's already in storage. Um, there's nothing left in CJ and I's bedroom. <sighs> there's nothing left in our bedroom. Everything that we do have still in the house is consolidated to just the kitchen now. So that's what we're getting rid of today cleaning up <laughs> and painting if it's needed or where it's needed uh -huh. yeah so I will check back with y'all in like an hour what's up y'all so it's actually 8.30 I lied um I took my medicine I ate a couple of Slim Jims so I could take the ibuprofen because um, I have to take that with food or I get sick. Um, and then I think I straightened up or something downstairs. I did something that wasted like 20 minutes. And then by the time I went back upstairs, I was like, okay, I'm going to just lay on the floor real quick with a blanket and chill for a second. By the time I did that, my uncle had actually called me and was like, hey, so um, I'm going to need you to come pick me up. So we're actually, um, it's 8.30 now, we're on the way to get him. We'll be there in like 15 minutes. Um, and then he said he hadn't eaten breakfast yet, so we'll probably grab breakfast and then head back to my house, which is like 30 minutes from the city we're in, um, or that I'm, I'm going to be in to get him. So, yeah. What's up? Okay. Um, so it is now a little after 12 o'clock. It's a little after, a little afternoon, right? Okay. So we went, we got my uncle, we did all the stuff we were supposed to do because he came to help me take stuff to the dump. We ended up not even taking it to the dump. Um, so what happened was it was like small, like smallish furniture. I don't know how I'm supposed to be on this. Jesus. I don't know. Okay. We were supposed to be taking like some smallish furniture over to the dump. It, it wasn't like anything like ridiculous or like too heavy or too big or anything like that i'm about to just flip this back around it wasn't anything like too big or too heavy or anything like that i'm just not allowed to do a bunch of like lifting or straining nothing i can like possibly pop my uh stitches or whatever because they're on they're on my stomach right so you're supposed to i was getting help to do that part but then he came and he was like oh these actually feel like they're made of aluminum which I could take to a recycling place and actually like get paid for. 
And I was like, oh, okay, cool, we want them. So then we just ended up dismantling all the furniture into pieces. Um, and we didn't go to the dump. We didn't, we didn't go. We just, I just put it in my car and then we took it to his house so he could take it to a recycling place. Um, I'm, hold on, I'm about to flip this around. I don't think the camera was where it was supposed to be at all at any point in that just now. I look tired. Right. Ignore this. I was washing my hands and there's no towel in here, obviously. Okay. It's a little after 12. We've done the stuff that I said we were going to do originally. Now we're about to do a walk through the house and you can see how empty it is in here. And, um, and then we can we can look at the list together for what I still actually like need to get done. Um, and then we're we're gonna go. We're gonna go do that. The bedroom. There's nothing nothing that I left in here. Um, there's another phone over there that I could be using to record. That'd be that'd be smart. Everything is empty, 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 empty. Oh, this is staying for the the runners. Some of the stuff that's in here is gonna stay. Not, not everything. A lot of the stuff isn't staying, but some like a couple things are staying. Just not a lot of things. Smells good in here. You got fabuloso. Something smell good. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a toe for you. Hello, mother. Hmm? Say hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do your back. Go tell for you. you make it do. Somebody flattering their hair in here. Hmm. Somebody was doing it here. Mm hmm. I smell like crispy hair in here. Mm hmm. You smell yeah. this and this. Mm. I don't know what about that mixture. Smell like a beauty salon. Uh, uh. That's where Sakari must have been. Uh -huh. I said this where she must have been at sleeping. I thought Sarah was gonna come in here, but she didn't. Mm -hmm. She got she got both dogs. Who? No, they came back out. They got some. Are they outside? Oh. Mm -hmm. thing I get emptied out. You can get your daddy all that stuff to the dump stuff. Oh, I already took the stuff to the dump. So this just is oh this is a little bit of stuff right here. Oh well if he could if he could take it then um yeah. What you want to think what about this right here they don't um Oh, the recycling came Wednesday, so I'm gonna dump that in the recycling and the thing later today. It's not a whole lot to really do. No, it's not. It's just, I just need to clean the house, really. Yeah, I did the baseboards in the bathroom and I do your baseboards. It's about the baseboards on the floor. You know, baseboards. You know, the baseboards. Ooh, that hurt. Hi. Huh? Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hi, how are you? How are you doing? Yeah. What's up? We have to go back to the stop now. Mm -hmm. It was the stuff that was in my car that I took out the car so I could put the other stuff in my car. Um, 
Yeah. What's up, y'all? Okay. So, um, I know the videos are very broken up too. I'm not, I'm not very good with consistency today. We're pressure washing. Um, that's not obvious from the way the driveway looks. Look how CJ works boots. They're very big, chunky boys. Chunky boys. <laughs> um, I don't know. I like watching videos like this, so I'll probably turn the sound off after this because this is stupid loud for some reason. Um, maybe I'll just record me like doing this this little section or something and then um i'll check back in again with y'all uh, a little later square and, and I'm, I'm gonna go back to doing this with two hands because this is harder than I anticipated. This looks really cool. This is just a lot to wear on. Um, I really hope this is a lot of stuff in here. But this looks really cool on the camera versus like in person. Might change the FPS. Um, if you fucking so y'all would have looked like in person. Because in person it just looks like a, a big circle. Um, but like on the camera I can like actually like I can see it as it's starting to spiral. So like you don't see just the circle, you see it like shifting. It is like really cool. At least I don't know. I think it's really interesting. But like um I feel like I'm in twenty minutes because I actually need to try and move this car to here so that I can power wash underneath the car um yeah the car the car's been sitting there for a while it's essentially just like a decoration in our driveway at this all right guys so we are now in one of the guest rooms we are painting um you can see you know where I painted at you know where we stopped um I keep having to kind of stop and like sit down or something to actually look at it to see where I have and haven't painted because we got the color like real close but I think it's the type of finish that we used where like you can only see it when the lights hitting it or like you can only see the difference between like the original wall and our paint when the lights hitting it because like when you're up close you can't see the difference at all so i keep having to stop and kind of like come to the middle of the room <laughs> under the light so i can see where all i'm missing i know basically around all of the top i'm missing except for <clears throat> back here because i went ahead and got on the ladder um Yeah. So 
we are painting this bedroom um the baseboards and then probably the door frame for like the actual room um just because i feel like the door frame kind of gets beat up when people are like moving stuff in and out um so probably touch that up for this room and i'll probably do the like the baseboards and the door frames for all the rooms in the bathrooms um but the only other room that has to get like painted like actually painted um is mine in cj's room um yeah the, the master bedroom because that's the only other room that was actually like lived in essentially and actually you know has some some wear and tear on the walls um and then i got let me see the stairwell and then um a couple areas downstairs where we started painting because we originally were just going to kind of do the spots but then you know realized that the color even though the color match like i said i don't know if it's like the finish or what it is but like while we were painting it was like oh yeah this is perfect um you know we did like one little section let it dry and it was like oh i can't even tell where i painted at and then as we started to do a bigger area and then like left out the room came back and it was like oh never mind i can very clearly see that patch um <laughs> so well, i don't know oh, yeah. we can oh yeah take a walk well, y'all can see what i'm talking about see like the little little patches little brush marks or you can see like we started to do like touch-ups and then it was like ah and i mean a lot of people like my mother-in-law and everybody and my mom were like oh it's like it's fine it's not that big of a deal you know it's just it's just touch-ups you know you're just trying to make it look better and i'm like yeah but i i really don't like the way it looks i really want it to all be like consistent like i want it to all be like one like solid thing um i hate that it's like splotchy so um we yeah, were spending a good, good bit of money on this paint <laughs> honestly so um i'm i'm really just gonna try to do whatever i can with what i have left i've got like three gallons left and then if i do I still have like some spotty areas after the three gallons then i'll say okay fine you know and i won't i won't go out and buy anymore but i am going to go ahead and use everything that i do have um if i need it if i don't need it then i'll, I'll put it in the garage so that way whoever comes and is like renting it out um if they ever need to do any touch-ups they have leftover paint and they don't have to try to figure out the color match and everything like we did uh, uh.